Our next property of the segment function will come in handy when we need to derive it, which is the case when we um, do gradient descent, for example, on logistic losses. And this means that um, yeah, we need to build the gradient and this also means deriving our sigmoid function. And we will do that here, but first I will rewrite this definition actually to be the reciprocal of 1 plus e to the power of minus x. So not much happened here besides notation, but this will help us in our um, yeah, derivative here. So let's do that quickly. I just fill in the definition now from here. And we will apply the cha chain rule here. So um, this is our inner part over here. And um, yeah, this hole is our outer part. Um, but there's also, um, if, if you want to look this up, there's a fixed rule for the reciprocal. But um, yeah, we're basically just applying this. So um, yeah, first outer derivative. So we get this minus one times and then this part again but we have to um, yeah lower our exponent by one so from this minus one we get a minus two and then we have to multiply with the inner derivative and uh, this is the derivative of this part one is constant and e to the power of minus x gets derived to minus one times e to the power of minus x and yeah, this is again just the chain rule. So um, e to the power of y derived by y is just e to the power of y again. And the derivative of this minus x is minus one. Okay, now the question is how do we get uh, to that nice looking property that we want to achieve? And um, yeah, basically this cancels out at first. And we basically apply the same trick um, that we already did for the other property, which is um, extending with a fraction that uh, becomes um, one in this part. So um, we split this over here, this square, into two different fractions, which are multiplied. So this is split up and what we have here is e to the power of minus x, but we only have it once. So in the other case, we get a one over here. And um, then we apply this trick with this extending by one. And we write the one as e to the power of x t uh, divided by e to the power of x. Just copy the rest. And um, yeah, if we have a look here again, this multiplies and becomes one. And this lower part here again multiplies and uh, this one times e to the power of x becomes e to the power of x and e to the power of x times e to the power of minus x becomes um, one again. So we get one plus e to the power of x, which we already learned we can write as e to the power of minus minus x. And this stays the same and we can now fill in our definition again. So here you get sigmoid of minus x times sigmoid of x. And if we want, we can use the previous property, the symmetry property, and can simply uh, rewrite this as 1 minus sigma of x times this part sigma of x. And that's our derivative.